Hey guys, how's it going? So, welcome to my video. This video is on, as you guys can, can read the title, it says, how long should a CBT transmission last? So, if you guys, obviously you guys are watching my video, so you guys can check out my odometer. It's at 302,399 miles. And that's a lot of mileage on my car. It's a 2008 Nissan Altima. I've had this car for about, I'd say like four years. Bought it at 150,000 miles. If you guys haven't already, check out my other videos, my other CVT videos. I go in depth on my whole entire experience as far as my CVT uh, transmission is concerned on this car. I'm going to give you a short rundown on my issues with my CVT transmission. I bought this car at 150,000 miles, don't think I had any uh, CVT wine with the car, CVT noise. Drove it for another 50,000 miles and uh, as I kept on driving, the noise was more uh, obvious and it got louder and louder and louder and louder. But at that point, I did not know anything about CVT transmissions, so I had... You know, I did nothing with the CVT transmission because I didn't know anything about it. Had I changed my CVT transmission fluid um, at some point during that time, <clears throat> I think I would have 300,000 miles with that original CVT transmission. So, how long should a CVT transmission last you is pretty much dependent on how, how obviously, uh, as as most things mechanical, especially uh, how how you take care of you know how well you take care and maintain your CVT transmission now it is it is recommended that you trans you uh, change your CVT transmission fluid every 50,000 miles some people do it every 30,000 miles it's CVT it's a CVT transmission so they need regular uh, fluid changes fluid maintenance uh, stuff like that so uh, with CVT transmissions, you gotta maintain it. The more you maintain it, the more you change your CVT transmission fluid, the better your CVT transmission will drive, the less issues you will have with the transmission. So, I had, if you guys didn't know already, I have about, I, I would say like, I don't know, like 10 to 15 CVT transmission videos up uh, on my channel. Uh, if you guys get a chance, please check them out. If you guys want any tips on CVT transmissions, any tips, uh, any kind of, you know, if you guys want more insight onto your CVT transmission issues, and that is why you guys are watching these videos, please check those videos out. Just do a search uh, CVT transmission uh, wine you know, just CVT transmission, and uh, my video should uh, pop up. But let me go back to this video. I've got 302,399 uh, miles on my on my uh, transmission, and I just want to say that this is on my second transmission. My second transmission, I had uh, put that. I had changed that up at around 200,000 miles, 195,000, 200,000 miles. And I've gone at this point 102,000 miles on that second transmission. So how long should a CVT transmission uh, last you? So this is on my, I'm on my second transmission. Uh, and, I, and with this second transmission, I have been doing my own fluid changes fluid changes etc etc every I say like every couple of months I also did videos on those where you where I had done uh, DIY transmission fluids and it takes about an hour you guys can look those up uh, they're pretty fast and easy transmission fluid changes uh, you know normally when you go to the shops they'll charge you they'll charge you close to two hundred dollars including you know you know that's that's including the CVT transmission fluid and, and stuff like that normally it takes about four quarts four or five quarts and the, those uh, those quarts are about ten bucks each so that's fifty bucks right there and they'll charge you about 150 to um, do the do the fluid change you could do it yourself for as little as like sixty bucks and that includes the fifty dollars for the fluid uh, CVT transmission fluid and the you know ten bucks of stuff you just you know a bucket 
and a couple other things that you need to get. So 10 bucks to do the CVT transmission, DIY transmission fluid on, on your own, on your own. So that's a big money saver. If you guys wanna watch those videos, just check out, you know, just do a search on DIY transmission fluid change, Nissan 2008. Uh, I had a, a couple of those up. And uh, last, last one I did was about, I would say maybe like, last one I did was maybe like four or five months ago. Uh, I haven't had any kind of issues with my transmission as, full, as far as noises and, and, and going to limp mode. Uh, you know, that, that I actually thought I needed to change my CVT transmission fluid again, so I didn't, uh, I haven't done that, so good thing. But how long should your CVT transmission last you? The answer is it should last you, for the most part, if there's nothing wrong with your CVT transmission for the most part, as long as you do your fluid changes uh, on a regular basis, it should last you for quite a while. I know there are a lot of people out there who <clears throat> who don't like CVT transmissions, who don't think they're reliable, who, uh, who have had previous issues with it as far as whining noises, limp mode and stuff like that and it that it, it kind of gave them a really bad impression of CVT transmissions but I've done so many videos on safe modes and CVT safe modes you know CVT going to safe mode and uh, it's transmission wise and stuff like that and I pretty much break down you know why it goes into safe mode why you know the wine occurs and stuff like that and you guys th those are pretty simple fixes uh, the, you know, catch my videos, do a search on my videos on my channel. Yeah, I'll give you like really, really good fixes, um, easy, quick fixes as far as those concerned. Those are concerned. Um, but as far as CVT transmissions, my own personal opinion on it is that they're, they're not, they're not that bad. They're not. If you know anything about CVT transmissions, if you know why those. Uh, you know, the wine occurs if you if you know why you know if you've had a, enough experiences with them as far as the CVT noises and stuff like that the limp modes I mean it should you shouldn't have that much of an issue with it as long as you do uh, uh, you know as you do as long as you do the fluid CVT fluid changes uh, on your car on a regular basis you guys should not have any uh, issues with it so my my second transmission I put it in a, a close to 200,000 miles it cost me about 1200 I actually did get a really good deal on it and it's lasted me a hundred and two thousand miles so far I do do again I do do my uh, I do change the transmission fluid up uh, every three four months haven't done it in a little bit of a while but that second transmission lasted me 102,000 miles so far, and I and I, I'm pretty sure, as long as I keep on doing maintenance, as far as the transmission fluid change is concerned, it should last me uh, another. I'm gonna say a couple hundred thousand miles, and you guys are probably snickering on that after hearing that. You guys are probably saying, "No way, that's gonna last you another 200,000 miles or whatever." But like I said, I've 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 logged on 102,000 miles, you know, on on the second transmission that's been replaced, and uh, I haven't had you know too many issues. I haven't had that many issues with it. I mean, as long as I change my transmission fluid, you know, the CVT noise goes away and the wine goes away and haven't had any issues with limp mode. And it's a, about like a 30 minute change every couple of months do it yourself you know they're, they're good transmissions as far as I'm concerned I you know I, I I've had limp mode I've been go, I've had limp modes a couple of times with this second transmission well you know, I've had limp mode maybe like you know 10 times 15 times but you know it pretty much is like a physical indicator physical warning light up uh, you know telling you to change your fluid and once I do that, no issues whatsoever. You know, that limp mode and safe mode is just to keep you, keep your car from overheating. It's more like a shutdown mode, you know, before it, it before there's any damage to your transmission. And, um, and, you know, it happens every once in a while. I go and do my fluid changes and everything works out. Um, you know, it, it, 
the transmission works out the way it's supposed to work after that and I haven't had been I haven't needed to done do that in three or four months so that's my own personal opinion on it I mean check out Check out my other videos. Just want to say there are a lot of pros and cons of CVT transmissions, but one of the pros is that you know it does have a fail-safe mode, which it, you know it'll, it'll keep your car from failing, your transmission from failing. It'll notify you before your transmission gets to the point of actual damage. Before you know you need to, yeah, you know. But uh, back to my train of thought. 302,000 miles on my Nissan Altima. All right, it's pretty reliable. I'm gonna say uh, they're they're pretty reliable as long as you take care of it. I know I'm repeating myself, but uh, I you know if that reassures you guys in any way, you know, uh, please give me a thumbs up on my video. And also, if you have any comments, I'm sure you're here because of the, your issues and stuff like that. If you have any comments? Any questions at all, feel free to leave your, your comments and questions uh, below. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I put a ton of videos up on CVT issues, uh, my, my own personal CVT transmission uh, experiences and stuff like that. So, you know, if you guys want to check them out, just check them out on my channel. And uh, yeah, guys, you know, I put, I put a lot of videos up. Check out my videos. Any questions at all on your CVT issues, you know, feel free to uh, leave your comments, guys. All right. So take care.